database schema for a customer sales scenario how can we create a particular database and then perform several queries such as alter insert update delete in that particular database table hello everyone i'm sukanya from go edu hub technologies and in this video we are going to study about several queries and then implement them practically on a database table so here we will create a database naming go edu hub customer scenario and then we will make three tables those are customer table item table and the sales table so firstly the command to create a database and then use that particular database so that changes can be reflected in that particular database all the tables can be stored in that particular database so here i am creating a database naming go edu hub scenarios so this is how i have created a database create database and then the name of database similarly i am going to use this particular database so that all my changes which i am doing or table creation is stored in this particular database only so the database is changed that means the user which is i i am currently working in this particular database similarly the query first is create the tables with appropriate integrity constraint so the table one is having field customer and the constraint is primary key similarly the other field is customer name with varchar as its data type so when i execute this query in my sql command line i'm going to see that the table naming customer is created so the customer table is created over here next the query is okay so we are going to create the other table which is the item table so create table item there is item id integer is the data type and having constant primary key for each item id similarly item name is varchar and the price of that particular item is integer so when i execute this query the query is okay and the items table has also been created the very last table is sales table it is having references which mean there is a primary key used for the table one customer id's foreign key so the customer id primary key is this table's foreign key that's why we have used references and we all know that foreign key is a referential integrity constraint it passes the reference of the one table's primary key to the other table's foreign key when i execute this query this is also okay and similarly i can view that all my tables have been stored or not this is how i can do that so tables in go edu hub customer scenario are customer item and sales which means all the tables have been created so tables are created next query is we have to insert around 10 record in each of the table you can insert according to your own wish but right now we are discussing at depth so i am inserting the 10 records which are to be inserted in this particular database table so in customer value we have fields id and the customer name so this is how we can insert the values and when i insert these value in the sql command line for the insertion in first table that is customer table so all the queries are inserted in that particular table similarly we have to insert for next table that is item so items is having id the name and the respective what is the quantity of that particular item so let us insert this query into the sql command line and insert in the, into the next table so in item pair value also have been inserted the last table is sales so we can use in sale value also that what sale is done and on which date and what is the quantity so let us execute this query also so right now we have made a table and we have inserted the entries into that particular three tables also next is if i want to display that all the entries have been made or not so for display we use the select command select is used for the complete retrieval this asterisk sign denotes all the columns unless you have specified a particular column name so firstly you select asterisk from customer which is the very first table so when we do that we can see that the customer table entries have been shown similarly we have another table which name is item table so if you change here item then it will show you the item all the description and all the fields and the last table which we made was sale so this is how we can show the complete retrieval with the help of select command unless an alternately column is mentioned particularly then it displays all the columns with their respective tuples so all the entries have been made in the table we can see by the help of select command this is the snapshot of sql command line only
now we are performing next query that is list all the bills for the current date with customer name and item number so we have to list the bills for the current date along with the customer name and the item number which item has been bought and not so for today's date i guess we have not made any entry so it will show us an empty set so firstly check that that whether it shows us an empty set or not because all the entries are of very previous years not of any today's date so cur date function is returning the null value when i execute the query it shows me empty set because there is no entry in the sales table or item table for today's date the next is list total bill details with quantity sold price of the item and the final amount so i have selected i dot price okay then quantity sold also and then i have multiplied that particular for item i and then from sales table so when i execute this query what is going to return me it is going to return me the price the quantity sold and the total of that that is the multiplication it is going to return me so with the help of arithmetic operators i can do that so this is how it is returning me the exact amount or the total amount of the item sold according to the price the next is list the details of customer who bought a product which has a price greater than 10 means we have to list from the customer table if he or she has brought any product which price is greater than 10 so here we can use similarly the select command and then we can use the operators for the customer id and the customer name who have bought a product which has a price greater than 10 so when we do that we can see here that it has returned me the customer id and the customer name because what i wanted to display customer id and the customer name from the customer table sales table and the item table where the price is greater than 10 so that it is going to match the values and return me the values the next query is give me a count of how many products have been bought by each customer so the customer id and the count function the group and aggregate functions can be made count is an aggregate function which is executed on a group of tuples so with the help of this query we can display that how many products have been bought by each particular customer so when i do that i can see here how many products or the count is exactly shown to me eighth query is give a list of product bought by a customer having customer id as 110 110 so it will return me the list of products which are bought by the customer id 110 that which items or which products he or she has bought so for this particular id i have to retrieve so i will check the amount and then i will display the item so this is how i have done the customer id where the customer using the where clause this is a clause clause sql clause is a particular statement which displays according to the condition mentioned and what is the condition here that the customer id is 110 so it is only going to display me the records of id 110 and what item it has bought coffee similarly list the item details which are sold for today so today this query we have already done today we have not made any entry in the particular table according to the current date which is 16th jan 2021 so no as such entries will be shown hence this is a empty set similarly if create a view which list out of bill number bill date and customer id all a view you have to create and the view name is customer and then you have to display all the items amount quantity sold the date of billing and the bill number so when i execute this query in my in my sql command line it is going to show me a particular view so when i execute this query query is okay and there are no rows affected right now i have not displayed the particular view but the view has been created so when the view has been created and the view name is cust so what we are going to do is we are going to select asterisk from that view which we have created and what is the name of view the view name is cust so when i do that i can see here the complete view is created view is basically a sql table but it is not a permanent table in the database because when you execute the show tables command it is still going to show you three customer table this is a particular view that's why it has been stored because you have created a new view 
view is also a SQL table. That's why now it is showing you four rows in a particular set. And this is the view which we have created having bill number, bill date, the customer ID, item ID, the price, quantity sold, and then the amount, which is the multiplication of price and the quantity sold. So this is how views work, which we have already discussed in our many previous videos of BBMS lab. So in this video, we have seen that how can we create a database? How can we then use that particular database for table creation, insertion of values in separate tables, and then running the queries according to the particular condition mentioned with the help of either joining or with the help of where clause or even condition matching. For more queries, we will look into upcoming videos. Thank you.